All right, guys. So welcome to another video, and today we are talking about the Poco F3, also known as Mi 11X in India and Redmi K40 in China. Now, as you know, after the iPhone 12 debacle, this device has been my personal daily driver. So. If you're gonna use something as a daily driver, you could definitely use custom ROMs, but if it comes to camera and things like that, you might wanna go for a MIUI based ROMs and you have limited options when you go there. You have Xiaomi.eu, you have MIUI VN and you have MIUI SR. Now MIUI VN recently came with a stable update based on the Chinese version that is 13.0.5. I installed it a couple of days back and since then I've been using it and I thought I should definitely make a review whether you should try it or not. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going So let's see what we have here. We have MIUI VN 13, 13.0.5 stable, MIUI VN mod, updated on the 22nd of April, 2022. Now you have downloads, then you have support. So there is a support group available. The change log says added new control center, add new MIUI home settings, update base to 13.0.5. Safety net doesn't pass by default based on MIUI CN, and this is a recovery ROM. Now what this means is you will be able to easily flash this flash this from recovery but safety net unfortunately is a concern now we will definitely talk about that but apart from things that are not working there are a ton of things and features which are really really interesting about this rom and let's go ahead and talk about all of those so first things first the moment you boot into this particular rom especially if you are a global or an indian user the first thing that you will notice is this is the complete miui 13 experience the way it is available in china because of course this is based on the chinese rom which means you get all the MIUI 13 features minus a few which might get added later so as you can see on the home screen we do have the molten glass wallpapers over here right these are live wallpapers so if I go ahead and lock the screen and unlock it there is your always on display and look at this beautiful animation of the molten glass wallpaper when MIUI 13 came out uh, a lot of people liked these wallpapers that is the reason these are that significant now to the left of course you have Google feed and when you have MIUI 13 Android 12 and Google feed combined and it works this smoothly this is something I really really like on my daily driver remember yesterday's video in which uh, I covered MIUI 13.0.4 global stable for the Poco X3 Pro it was not even used Usable. Now look at this. This is not official Xiaomi or Poco. This is a custom ROM developer who is giving you smooth as butter experience. Even the transition animations while scrolling is extremely smooth and that is a good thing. Now talking about the new control center, this looks <laughs> like iPhones, like iOS. They have adopted that. They are trying to make their user interface look as much as possible like iOS. Anyways, that's a discussion for another day. But you do see that the new control center is enabled. Now, this is not enabled by default. You have to go to settings and, you know, click a toggle which will allow you to enable it. I'll show you that. Now, apart from this, of course, if you press and hold over here, you will see that you have the new wallpaper menu in which you have a bunch of live wallpapers. Now, I did notice a small bug over here. You're not able to, you know, go ahead and update these super wallpapers for some reason you can definitely go ahead and apply them but sometimes you know it is it is stuck like this it doesn't really register the touch so maybe miui vn team if you're looking at this you can definitely go ahead and work on this now moving on you know we talked about wallpapers a lot and yes of course uh, how can we leave out these beautiful wallpapers which are the crystallized microscope wallpapers these are the highlights of mia 13 as well and as you can see the animations are really really subtle and on this e7 amoled beautiful display it looks really really nice now moving on this rom doesn't really come with a lot of bloatware it does have some basic miui applications which are a must if you're going to use miui and if you look at almost all the applications they are updated now the good addition over here just like any other miui based custom rom is you do get the miui dialer and and you also get MIUI messaging, which also means that when you're recording someone's call, you will not get that prompt 
that this call is now being recorded, which is a mandate in some countries. So that is a neat change as well. Now talking about the camera application, even in India, the camera application was updated. You have the document scanner and all the advanced features which are present and they work absolutely fine. The picture clarity, the video clarity has been just on point, at least with this device. So no complaints there whatsoever. Now, another thing to note over here is the app icon animations. They are complete, they are beautiful and they work absolutely fine. Now, one more thing that you will notice over here is these recent, they look iOS style again. I have enabled the option of show memory status and stuff like that. So if you actually go to the launcher settings over here, you will see you have transition effects, you have different ones over here. And then you have all the default launcher settings, but there are additional settings as well, which we will get into in just a bit. First of all, let's quickly have a look at the settings menu. If you go to my device, it says MIUIVN 13.0.5. It does come with a February security patch. It's surprising that a device from China is getting Feb security patch and a device from India is getting an April security patch. I'm referring to the Poco X3 Pro, by the way. Anyways, that's that's not what we are talking about here. So the security patch is not the updated one, but you do see over here that RAM extension is available and it is working absolutely fine. Although I still feel this is a gimmick, right? So you have things like, you know, SIM card status, WLAN and things like those. But if you actually go to SIM card status, you will have a dedicated option of 5G networks. Of course, we don't have 5G in India, but that option is present. Now moving on, you have always on display in which you do have a lot of options. Things like expand top notification, unread message, reply to a message. Now this can be done from the notification panel itself. So these are additional features that are added and they work fine. You do have three different styles of charging animations which I've tested and they look different as well. Now the clock format is something you can play around, lock screen, owner info and stuff like that. Nothing major new there. But if you actually go to display, the good thing that you will note is, although this is based on the Chinese version, everything is already fixed in this particular ROM. For example, you do have 120 Hertz refresh rate. You have the AI image engine with HDR enhancement and MEMC. Now something that is missing over here is anti-flicker or DC dimming. So that option is missing. Hopefully they can add that later. You do have the option of disable font Milan Pro as a toggle. Probably it works on a reboot and rounding window option is there. PIP size that is picture in picture control options are present as well. Now, if you go to control center and status bar, you will see that you have all these options available over here, right? Notification shared, shortcut, hide notch, notch individual apps, network type location above the location. So, you know, you have these many options, you know, that are available. You can definitely use the new MIUI 13 control center as well. And you have full screen display shortcut here as well. So, you know, all these features are present and they work absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. The notifications menu is still, you know, how it used to be in the Chinese uh, stable and betas. So nothing new there. But if you go to password and security, you will notice that you have your lock screen working with face unlock and fingerprint unlock. So that is good. So no worries there whatsoever. But if you go to the battery section, you will see that you have the balance performance and the save battery mode. If you go to the battery section, the battery UI is new. Apart from this, you do have screen time, which is present and that works absolutely okay, as you can see. So in some Google apps and Google menus, you will see that Monit UI is working, although it is not at all working in MIUI based apps or MIUI at all. Now under special features, you have Game Turbo, which is the new Game Turbo, mind you. You have the video toolbox. It's a little surprising that you don't have the combined uh, sidebar. So that's a little weird, but in MIUI lab, you have app flashcards, second space, floating windows and things like those. So there are a ton of additional features and options that are available in MIUI VN. And after using it for a day or so, you know, I noticed you get around five and a half to six hours of screen on time, which in my medium to heavy usage is a pretty decent job. That means if I charge the phone in the morning and I take it all the way till the evening, it can last me a day. Another good thing is the charging speeds are really, really nice. So it really charges very, very fast on the 33 watt charger. So even if you're running low on battery, the charging speeds will not disappoint you at all. Now, if you look at the privacy menu, you still have the China based privacy menu and stuff like that. Now, moving on, let's quickly go to security settings over here. And if you will notice, this is the latest security APK. 
which means you do get the updated game turbo with GPU settings and all those functions. So across the entire UI in MIUI VN 13.0.5, you have a smoothness, fluidity, and almost everything is working as expected. The only thing that is broken is CTS profile doesn't work. That means you will show an error over your device is not certified and some banking applications might give you trouble for which you will have to install Majisk and follow the procedure to fix CTS profile match as well. Now, all said and done, what about the performance? So for that, let's go to the updated gallery that we have in this particular ROM and let's go to screenshots meanwhile i'll also show you the battery life over here as you can see the phone has been active for 9 hours and 28 minutes the screen has been used for 3 hours and we were still at 30 percent battery so all in all you know you will get very decent battery backup as far as this particular rom is concerned now as you can see over here the cpu throttle test despite adding it to game turbo and enabling the perform performance mode the average was 230 to 356 gips and the highest score was 2 and the highest score was 26489 gps so that's an excellent score but the cpu did throttle to 82 percent of its max performance now moving on if we actually go to antutu benchmark over here let's see what score we get in antutu 679421 nothing new there standard score for a mi 11x moving on if we also talk about geekbench let's see what we have here we have 936 single core 3103 multi core so this is not disappointing this is definitely decent performance and if you are someone who's going to ask me is there 90 fps stop dreaming you're not going to get 90 fps officially there are unofficial ways to do it but in mio 12.5 enhanced i did see a score of 3300 multi core and 1000 three single core so this is slightly less performance compared to mii 12.5 but mii 13 is still new android 12 is still new for xiaomi as well they will optimize it at as time goes by all in all miui vn 13.0.5 even for gaming is decent when you play smooth extreme you will not have any stutters jitters you can record you know the game audio with the screen recorder and it works just fine so all in all if you ask me if you are a mi 11x or a poco f3 user you can definitely give it a try if you you know keep yourself aware of the cons that i mentioned let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye